we're going to work on the smart contract and build all the logic so once we're done with the smart contract then we'll build the logic and build the connection with our front-end application and at the end we're going to design the front-end application okay so let's start with the smart contract first so here i'm inside the to-do list smart contract okay license identifier and it will be unlicensed then we have to take the 0.8.9 and we have to give the contract and the contract name is to do list inside that we're going to take a unt type and this will call id user so every user will assign an id so that's why we're taking id and we'll take a address public and this will call owner of contract so the one who will deploy the contract now we'll take address array and it's called creators so all the users who will create to do list on this application or their address we're going to store inside this array okay we'll take a string and inside this we're going to store all the messages to do list okay and now we'll take another unt and in this we're going to hold all the ids of the users so these are the state variables come down we'll take a struct we're going to define a couple of properties to every single user okay so let's call it to do list app and the first one is going to be the address account and then we have to take a unt this will call user id then we'll take a string and this will contain the message of that individual user now it's bull so we're going to check the status of their to-do list okay so that's why this boolean value this is our struct let's come down now we have to initialize the event so to do event inside that we're going to take the address it's called index and we have to call it account then we have to take a unt it's called an index and here we're going to hold the user id we'll take another variable this will call string and this will contain the message and the final one is boolean which contain the status so this is our event let's come down and let's create the map now we'll create a mapping so we can identify all the information about the user on the base of their address okay so that's the approach of taking this mapping so we'll pass the address and it will call to do list app and public and this will call to do list app so this will contain so this to do list apps contain all the information about the users and their properties to do list app contain the information about individual so we'll pass the address and it will give us the entire detail of that user so this is how we are mapping let's call it small so this is our mapping let's come down and now we have to initialize our constructor so owner of the contract is going to be the message dot center so whoever will deploy this smart contract that address is going to be the owner of this contract and here we have taken this variable so let's come down and now we have to write the function for creating to-do list okay and now we have to create a function that will increment the user id so i'll call it i inc and it will be uh, internal what we have to do we have to increment the user id so here we have and plus plus so this function will increment the user id every time we'll call this function okay we have to take another functions and here we're going to create the to-do list okay so to-do list create list inside that we're going to pass a string and we'll call it call data this will save a little gas uh, sorry little uh, gas price and inside that we're going to pass the message it's going to be external we have to call the increment functions we have will take another variable called unt id number and we have to assign that user id then we have to take a copy of our storage to do and inside that we're going to pass the msg dot sender so we have to type msg dot sender so here i'm taking the copy of my mapping and mapping contain all the information about the user so here i have used the storage keywords because i want to change and update the state variables that's why i have used the keyword storage so here we are simply mapping from the address to individual creator let's come down so all the properties we have inside this to do we have to assign that account dot message dot sender okay so if you come here here we have the properties of to do list app which all the data we have to provide so whoever will call the information their address is going to be the message dot sender okay let's come down and now we have to update the message which we are getting from the functions so dot slash message now we have to get the completed status initially it will be false now we have to get the user id so we are going to assign the id number okay so these are the property we are going to set whenever any user or any creator will create to do list on the application and all these properties going to be assigned to them so this is our functions now let's come down and we have to push the address to the creators array and we have to push the message into the message array and we have to push the message id to the id to the message id okay so these are the three array in that we are pushing the data so create a message and id and here we have the three array creator string and, and now we have to emit the event so we have to call the to do event 
and here i type e and by the way my e is not working so if i miss typing e you guys type e from your end okay so let's come up here and make the change and here we have to pass the data in the same order the order we have defined in our event okay then then it will all work otherwise it will throw you an error so let's provide the data in the same order so message dot sender and now we have to provide this user id copy this and paste now we have to provide the message and we have to provide the status which is this to complete this is our event so these are the function so everything's looking good so mapping we have we have construction we have increment function and this is the create function we have now let's come down now let's create a one more function this will call get creator data and this will pass the address of the creator so when we'll pass the address of the creator in this function it will give the complete detail of that candidate okay and it's going to be a public view return returns let's uh bracket and in this we in this we have to define all the data we want to take take from the user okay so first one is going to be the address second one is going to be unt third one is going to be string memory and the final one is going to be the status is boolean okay so we are getting some error simply so everything is looking good but why it's we are getting error simply copy cut this and paste one more time and as you can see sometime you will have this problem as you can see we haven't done anything but this error is gone so let's continue working we'll create the copy of the straight variable so it will call single user data and in that we're going to pass the address which we have in the mapping so here i'm here we have used memory keyword because this time we are not doing any changes in our state variable we are just taking a copy of that so we can call in the function and we will get that information on the base of the address we provide in the mapping so i hope everything is clear so far if you guys have any comment or if you are stuck anywhere do leave in the comment sections i'll try to reply on that okay that's working on that so here we have to return all the data about the user so first one is going to be single user data account now we have to return the user id then we have to return the message and the final one is going to be status so here we have the get data functions for the users let's close all these functions close this one now let's come down now let's write the function for all the arrays which we have created like for the messages for the address and for the change of state okay let's create a function and this will call get address it's gonna be external view and return and in that we have to pass the entire array and we have to return the creators array okay so here we have the entire array and that what we are returning here now let's get one more functions this will call get message and external view return and in that would be we have to take a string memory and s and we have to return that so messages now we have to create one more function this will call toggle and this function will be reliable for changing the state whether that to do list is completed or not this function is going to trigger and change the state variable okay and that will pass the address because this is how we're going to find out that which which creator com completing which task okay and it's gonna be a public and simply we'll take the to do list app storage and we have to get the single user data we have to get the mapping complete array and inside that we're going to pass that creator address and once we have that we have to change the status okay completed status to completed okay so in this way what will happen the user can call this function again and again so if it is completed then user can turn it to uncompleted but if it's not completed then user can turn it to complete okay so this is how the user can switch it forward and backward okay that's why we have taken this approach or you can do hard code but this is the right option to go with when you provide an user when you provide an option to the user so you can switch forward and backward okay I, so i guess we are done with this entire smart contract to do list application so let's have a look so this is our to-do list this is our struct this is our event mapping constructor increment functions we have our create list we have our data we have the address we have messages and this is the toggle functions so everything is looking good so simply copy the entire smart contract so we can test okay and open up your browser and visit remix id okay so here we are on remix id and here we're going to do the testing of the smart contract okay so let's come here and remove this old code and paste our smart contract 
so as you can see it successfully compiled because i have the setting in my remix id so whenever i put any code it will automatically compile the code okay so let's bring this down and let's try to deploy so here you can see we have everything here all the functions all the code we have let's click here and this is the account let's expand this one and let's select the file so to do list app and deploy here we have the all the data all the function we can use in this smart contract you can see we have a create list we have toggle we have id user we have creator we have get address we have get creator data get message 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 id owner of the contract and to do list app so all the function which we have defined as a public that's all we can able to find here okay so let's test that so right now if i click on user id we don't have any user okay that's why it's zero if we click on get address it's an empty if we click on get message it's empty and if we click on get owner of the contract so this is the contract owner and because we have deployed the smart contract and this is the account which is the owner of the contract okay now let's do one thing let's create a list to do list okay so i'll simply type hey this is my first to do app okay and click on create list and let me open this terminal so you guys can see all the call stacks so here you can see we have successfully created our to-do list and you can see this green tick let's click here and here you can able to find all the information about the function call so here we have the transaction hash here we have from this is to and the function you have called this is the gas limit transaction cost execution cost and this is a message and this is the event which we trigger okay so let's bring this down and here we have the events so all the logs which you can find right here so everything is working fine as we expected let's come here and let's check whether the data is updated or not let's click on user id we have one user okay let's click on get address we have the address and let's click on that get message and here we have the message so all the function is working fine so this message is an array and message id is also an array so we have to put the index so first is going to be zero okay so on the zero index we have this message and on the zero index we have this id so all the function is working fine so here we have to get the complete data simply copy this address because this is the user <clears throat> copy the address and simply paste here and click here so here you will find all the information about the user who created that to-do list so here we have the account address user id string the messages hey this is my first to-do app and the status whether it's completed or not so it's also working fine let's come up here and here we have to use this function toggle functions so for that we need to take the address so this is the state is false we have to change this to true okay so simply come here and paste the address simply copy the address of the user and paste here and call this toggle as you can see the transaction is successful let's come here and we have to click here it's true means our function is also working fine let's bring down so all the functions are working fine our smart contract is 100 percent working let's come back to our code editor so with this we are done with the smart contract but let me tell you one thing the smart contract has a lot of vulnerability right now you can see that everything is working fine but there is a lot of problem in the smart contract anybody can hack the smart contract or change the entire data and take the entire contract from you as an owner to their name to their address so at the end of this project once we complete the entire front end and make the our smart contract communicate with our front end application then we're going to make it more secure we're going to test this smart contract and we're going to use a couple of tools to test and try to find out all the vulnerability okay so i just want you to just understand the code whatever we have written so far and try to understand where is the problem what kind of problem so what i want you so before you proceed ahead just sit and try to understand the entire smart contract and try to find out the vulnerabilities which the smart contract contained right this problem right this moment there is a lot of problem in the contract so just analyze it for 10 